Now let's go a little further and start playing a little more texture by playing the triplets around the kit. So the first thing, obviously, is just to play a tom. Okay, so let's get some triplets going, and then I'm just going to play every alternate beat in my right hand on the tom. Okay, so... Okay, so that's just with one tom. Now let's try and play it on the uh, the two toms. So I'm going to play it every fourth every fourth beat on a tom. So let's just try and get it going again on the snare. far as you want. You can play any combination of hands and feet to get that three no repetitive pattern. Whatever you're doing, as long as it's three notes, you're golden. But you've got to remember that those three dots on the circle need to constantly be 120 degrees each other between each other or it's going to sound crushed so if you make the gap if you play uh, sort of almost almost like an open flam like that's way exaggerated but you know listen to this that's not a triplet that's two really fast notes followed by a third note with a, a sort of a rest after the beat. Likewise, that's not a triplet either, really. It's three notes, it's repetitive, but it's not. You've sort of moved the two dots closer together. So... It's not what you play. It's what you're not playing when you're not playing so and and for how long you're not playing so you know really and especially when you're playing slowly it gets way more important that your that your uh intervals are exactly equal because if you're playing a slow beat such as this It takes a lot of really uh, hard concentration to to play small subdivisions when you're playing a slow beat. And this is the reason that ghost stroking started and that so many people play um, in the air. Uh, to tell you the truth, you know, it's the reason why a lot of times I spin my stick. If I'm playing every fourth note on the on the snare drum... I've got to do something with my hand that's in time. And if I slow it down enough, then I can do it. And then I know when I get my stick back, it's time to hit the snare drum. Now, of course, I know what time I'm playing in. But if I do something to preoccupy myself, um, it's much more likely that I will stay in time. So, for instance, on the ride cymbal. If I'm playing in a room without mics and I play this, then you might be able to hear But in a mic situation, 
chances are you'll hear a really loud bell sound and then something else. But it's like a ghost stroke on, almost on the ride. So it's like. If you can see my ride, you can see I'm hitting the ride. I'm hitting it because I want to keep the one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So I don't have to count one, two, three, four, especially if I'm playing underneath something complicated. So if I'm playing, you know, no problem. But if I'm playing this, then it's a lot easier to play. <laughs> 